Hit that bell so you're notified as soon as your girl posts a new video. And let's get into this curly wig install. So my wig arrived in this gold and black satin bag. It also came with a bunch of goodies to help lay my wig as well as mink lashes. And here is the wig fresh out of the bag. It did come in a plastic bag as well as a hair net to protect the hair. And here's the natural texture of the hair. I did not co-wash it. I did not bleach the knots on this wig. This is straight out of the box. Here is the inside of the cap. It does have an adjustable strap. It has two wig combs in the front, one in the back, and it is a five by five lace closure. Let's go ahead and throw the wig on our head and see what we are working with. I'm gonna go ahead and line that lace up, pull it to the front, get rid of some of that forehead. <laughs> To lay my wig today, I'm using the Bold Hold Liquid Gold and I'm applying this all where the lace sits. And I'm going to take my finger and blend it out so it's nice and flush with my skin. And then I'm gonna wait for it to get tacky and we're gonna go ahead and pull the lace down. I'm not removing the excess lace prior since this is just a closure. I'm gonna go ahead and press it down with the comb just combing it back and making sure that that lace is sticking to the Bold Hold Liquid Gold. And I'm gonna take my blow dryer on a cool setting and do the exact same thing as I was doing before, just to make sure that it is nice and flush with my skin and that it is not going anywhere. Next, I'm gonna take my eyebrow razor and I'm going to jaggedly cut the extra lace on the lace closure just to make sure that all of that excess lace is gone but that it's not straight across. And then I'm going to take my Eben melting spray to melt that lace further into my skin and make sure that it blends in really nice. Y'all know what time it is. It's time to pin that hair up so I can go ahead and melt this lace further. So I'm gonna take my elastic band from Arabella Hair and I am going to tie it as tight as I can, rock it for about 15 minutes. So I did my makeup off camera. It turned out super cute, right? Here is a close up of the closure and I'm gonna throw it in a middle parting. I also am gonna do baby hairs. I decided at the last minute that I wanted to do baby hairs. So I'm gonna pull out some hairs in the front and then I'm going to use a really teeny tiny pair of scissors to cut the baby hairs. These are actually for your eyebrows, but they work really great to cut baby hairs, y'all. So yeah, I'm gonna do the same thing on the other side as well. Next, I'm gonna take my Got To Be Black Gel and then I'm gonna take my edge brush and I'm going to brush these baby hairs and get them the way that I like them. So I'm basically doing three baby hairs in the front, one in the middle and one on each side. Next, I'm gonna take a bit of concealer in my parting to make it look a little bit more natural. And I am doing this because I did not bleach the knots on this wig, but I still want it to look really nice and seamless. So this definitely did that for me. 
So here is a close up of the closure with the baby hairs and with the concealer and the parting. I think it looks really good. Y'all can let me know what you think. You do not have to bleach the knots on your wigs every time, y'all. You can wear them straight out the box if you would like. So here is the natural texture of the hair straight out of the box. It's a bohemian curly wig. It is 28 inches. She's super long and big, but we're gonna go ahead and define the curls. So I'm using a spray bottle mixed with my Kinky Curly Not Today Leave-In Conditioner with a little bit of water, and I'm going to spray down the hair, make sure it's nice and saturated. Next, I'm gonna take this brush and rake it through the hair. This is going to make the curls nice and defined. And I like to turn the brush at the end of the hair so that I can get a nice spiral curl at the end. And then I'm also gonna use my hands to scrunch the hair. And I'm going to add more water as I see fit. This leave-in conditioner with the water, the mixture is everything, it really helps to make your curly hair very defined and look moisturized and just juicy. So I'm also gonna take a bit of mousse, y'all. I will leave a link down below to all the hair products that I'm using if you're interested in checking them out. So I'm taking the mousse right along the parting area and then I'm also running it down the whole hair shaft. And then I'm going to scrunch the hair up. This really gets the curls super defined and it keeps them in place all day long. So I'm gonna do the exact same thing on this side of my head. We're gonna get those curls nice and juicy. Now I'm gonna take the comb and make sure that I blend it in really nicely near the parting area and get that super flat. And y'all, this is the final look. I'm going to let this hair air dry and I will be back with the final results. But as you can see, the curls are super defined. You can tell that when I first received the wig, the curls were a little bit more on the dry side, but all you need to do is wet the hair, moisturize it, and it's going to look super bomb. So never judge a wig straight out of the box, y'all. So here is the final look after allowing the hair to air dry for about an hour and a half. As you can see, the curls look really nice and moisturized. They are super juicy. I love the curl pattern of this wig and the density. And y'all, look at the back. It looks so good, right? Like, look at those little ringlets on the bottom. I hate it when the ends of curly hair look bad, but the ends of this hair are so, so pretty and springy. So the hair is not 100% dry right now. I would say it's about 85, 90% dry and the curls 
are just looking better and better. This wig is 210% density, but it does not feel heavy, but it's still giving volume and it's not all the way dry yet, y'all. So y'all saw the hair when it was straight out of the box. It did look like a little bit more dry, but do not let that deceive you. If you purchase this wig, all you need to do is what I did and your curls are gonna look just like this. Super healthy, super juicy, super bomb. So do not skip out on this wig because she is pretty and it's a closure. So she's super easy to install, y'all. I love a frontal, but closures, you can just throw that baby on and this is perfect for summertime. If you're interested in checking out this wig, I will leave a link down below to Arabella Hair and I will also leave any coupon codes that they provide me with. Thank y'all so much for watching this video. I truly do appreciate each and every one of you and I will catch y'all in my next one. Bye. If you have not already checked out my latest makeup tutorial, sis, what are you doing? Go ahead, click the box right here. Let's do it.